Hey everyone, welcome back. And today I wanted to film a video on some of my favorite cream eyeshadow sticks. So I realized that I've talked about some favorite cream shadows in general here and there, but I've never actually filmed a video where I show you like my favorite cream shadows, whether they're in stick form or in little pot form. So what I wanted to do today is to show you the cream shadow sticks that I really reach for and think are great basics to have some of my favorite ones. So if you want to see this version, but like in pot form, then either give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comment section that you want to sing, see that video. And I'll go ahead and bring that to you within the next week or so. I have some great basics to have that are affordable from the drugstore. And so I think depending on your need, you know, maybe there's one or two of these that will help you out. You know, if you're looking for if you're in the market for something like this. So we'll get started with the affordable drugstore version first, and then we'll go into the higher end version. All right, so for drugstore, I do have the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. This is a great basic to have. I've had this for years, and now not everybody is going to like or need this product, but I think it's still really great for highlighting under the brow area and the inner corner, really brightening that area up and then intensifying it with an eyeshadow on top. The other way that I use this is from time to time, whenever I wanna wear like a really bright, colorful look on my eyes, especially purples, like a bright purple, I will put this on all over my lid, not into the crease, just on my lid area, blend it out, and then I'll go in with a vibrant color, any color of your preference or choice, and it really helps make that eyeshadow color pop. Now, I would not recommend using this product alone. You definitely wanna use it with something like an eyeshadow primer because it can crease on you, but that's personally how I use this. Now, again, if you're not a person who wears a lot of color or you don't care to have that extra step in like using this for the inner corner and highlight area and then going in with an eyeshadow, then this probably isn't for you. But for me, this is a great basic to have. This shade, I don't even know if I said, this shade is in the shade Milk and it's just a very basic creamy white color. There's no shimmer. It's just a really flat matte white. It is very creamy. So you just need a little bit and then you blend it out. So just work in like little sections, but NYX's Milk is a great, great basic to have. Okay, now the next one is more of a nude color. I really, I mean, I wanna say skin tone color, but obviously it doesn't fit everybody's skin tone, but it is the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil, and this is in the shade Continuous Almond. So now this one claims to be highly pigmented, which it is, a matte finish, which it is, long lasting, which it is, and water resistant. I cannot vouch for water resistant. This one is really great if you can't afford like the infamous MAC soft ochre or painterly paint pots. This is a great affordable alternative. Again, I don't know, if you have super duper oily lids, you probably wanna use a primer with it. It is fine for my lids, but I use it from lash line up to brow bone, and it gives you, it works the same way that a MAC paint pot would in soft ochre or paint really, in the sense that it really just gives you like a blank canvas to work with. So it takes out any redness, any veining, really, really great basic to have, very affordable, and I find mine at Walgreens. So again, that is the color Continuous Almond. All right, now the next and last drugstore affordable option is the Milani Shadow Eyes. This is in the shade 03 Champagne Toast. And while this is not matte, it's a great neutral metallic shade to have. So this is really good for those days where you're like in a rush and you just need to put like a color on your eyelid and walk out the door. If you have an extra minute, you could put like a mid-tone brown in the crease and still walk out the door because this gives enough color to where it can act as just your eyeshadow. Champagne Toast is... Um, like a pinky champagne color. I would say none of the three that I've showed you so far are retractable, which kind of irks me. I wish that they were, but they're not. So you do have to have a pencil sharpener that is big enough for this pencil, but that's okay, I guess. So there is champagne toast right there. And again, it's just a great metallic pinky champagne color. I'm hoping you can pick up the color accurately because it is cloudy outside and having to use some light here. But anyway, that is Champagne Toast. Really great, 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 great affordable drugstore shadow stick. I have not tried the other colors in this line because they don't really interest me, but this one's a really great one to have that I would recommend. All right, so now we're jumping into the non-drugstore cream shadow sticks, and the first one is from Sephora. This is the Jumbo Liner 12 Hour Wear Waterproof, and I feel like the Sephora brand in general just kind of flies under the radar, 
but they do have a lot of great quality products. So I know that they're like a little bit pricier, but the quality of many Sephora brand products are truly as great as like any other high end that you would find in the store. So, you know, don't always knock them. This is a really great product. So this one is in the shade 04 taupe and it is also not retractable, but the 04 taupe is just a very true taupe color creamy enough to where it gives you enough time to work with it and then once it sets it's done so just again a very very true taupe color great great shadow and i have also worn this one alone so you can you know wear them alone wear them with a color on top whatever you want to do all right now this next one was a favorite last summer i wore it so so much this one i can vouch for and say this is waterproof this is amazing it is the makeup forever aqua shadow and this is in the shade 20 e i definitely would not mind having more a couple more of these i mean obviously i don't need the full color range i'd love them but i don't need them so 20 e i would say is more of a I don't know, like a light golden bronze kind of color. Also, it's not like super duper creamy as is the Sephora, but it's creamy enough to where you can blend it out. And then once it sets, it does not go anywhere. This one is an amazing, amazing shadow stick that is worth like every penny. So here is the shade 20E right there. So that's the Makeup Forever and then that's the Sephora. So hopefully you can pick up the color. All right, the next one is fairly new to me. I've had this for about the last four months or so, and this is from Jouer. It is the Cream Eyeshadow Crayon, and the shade on this one is Baroque. This is such a beautiful color, and it's really nice and creamy, and extra points for being retractable. Thank you, Jouer. So anyway, it, ha it is a little tough to take off the top, at least on mine, but it is a beautiful, beautiful bronze color. If you love bronze colors, you need to add this one to your list to check out. It is very nice and creamy. It's definitely creamier than the Makeup Forever and the Sephora. And what I find a lot of the times, especially in higher end shadow sticks, is that when they come in pencil form where you need to sharpen them, they're not as creamy as retractable. I don't know if that's coincidence in the ones that I have and the ones that I've swatched or what the deal is, but that's just what I have found. It's not to say that that is true necessarily. Again, it could just be a coincidence, but this one is definitely much creamier than the Makeup Forever and the Sephora. So here is Baroque right there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful golden bronze color. So there it is. Okay, this next and last one is definitely a favorite. I have talked about this many, many times before, and it is the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick. This one is in the shade Amethyst, which is just a beautiful purpley taupe kind of color. I wore this yesterday, I believe, or the day before, as a matter of fact, and this one has definitely received a lot of love from me I and mean, it's way down there so amethyst purpley taupe color very creamy it is beautiful it's definitely i would say a very unique cream shadow stick i don't know of any other colors just off the top of my mind that are very similar that's very similar to this because it has almost like different flecks of like shimmer in there i don't know it's not like a straight purple taupe color it has a little bit of dimension to it which makes it really really beautiful and a golly i hope that you can pick that up but here it is right here and you're probably not going to pick up the shimmer that i'm talking about because of the freaking weather but it's gorgeous if you like colors like that amethyst is definitely a must-have this one is really really great alone and it's also really nice paired with laura mercier's african violet on top they make a beautiful combination so definitely i would say this is a must-have and again score extra points because it is retractable love that and i wish all of these were but that's okay okay so i'm all up in your face so that i can show you the swatches again and just run through them very quickly just to show you all of them together and side by side so Right here we have Nyx's Milk, this is Jordana's Continuous Almond, Milani's Champagne Toast, Sephora 04 Taupe, Makeup Forever 20E, Jouer Baroque, and Laura Mercier Amethyst.
Okay, so that will do it for me and my favorite cream shadow sticks. I hope that you found this helpful, especially if maybe in the near future you are going to be in the market for a shadow stick or you're just looking for something new to try. I think there's a great variety here for everyone, whether you're wanting like a basic or a waterproof one or something just for more everyday wear. When the summer comes, if you're going to be around like the beach or the pool, um, anywhere where there's water, like a, a park, anything like that, or if you're gonna be sweating like crazy because you have high crazy temperatures like we do here in Houston, the Sephora and the Makeup Forever are gonna be great, great options for you. So I hope you found that helpful. I apologize again for the lighting. It is very crazy cloudy outside and I have to work with what I have. So just bear with me and I will see you guys on Thursday with a brand new video. Bye.